Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, 1952 Willys M38A1 Jeep that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving. Actually, we probably won't do the driving video because there's nowhere to mount the camera, but you'll have, might have to trust me on that, that it drives uh, as it should. Um, but I've got nowhere to mount the camera on it. Um, so possibly just one video on this one, plus the starting and idling action as well. Hope you like it. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, very nicely restored uh, 1952 Willys M38A1 Jeep. Um, this is obviously, being a 1952, it's a very early production M38A1. Uh, you can tell that by the hinges where the front panel comes out there. So the radiator grill can be hinged down. Um, standard spec example, except it's been fitted with indicators to make it uh, a bit safer to drive on, um, on UK roads. Um, we have all the weather equipment, you can see that in the photos, so it's got all the side screens and everything and the little, uh, uh, the little canvas doors that can open up. And she's rather gorgeous, oh he rather, because it is known as Donald. Um, done in the markings of the uh, Screaming Eagles, the 101st Airborne uh, American Paratroopers. It's got this huge whip aerial on it, which fortunately does um, does come off. <laughs> Catch telegraph poles with that. Uh, we put it on just for, the, for photographic and video purposes, but um, it does come off. Um, rear bumperettes, NATO tow hook, jerry can on the back. It's got all the uh, blackout lighting on it and stuff. Seating for four. Um, good alternative to a classic Land Rover, this. And she's rather lovely, in my opinion. So, um, we'll go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. There's really not a lot I can pick out in terms of bad bits. Um, obviously painted a few years ago and the paint has settled in nicely. Uh, we've got a couple of lighter marks just up here. Um, probably was hand painted, probably has been most of its life, but uh, it looks nicely patinated, shall we say. Doesn't look showroom fresh, which is, uh, you know, you don't really want one of these looking showroom fresh. But looks very straight down the sides of the tub. Show you the main rails. Front dumb iron, certainly. Instead of this cord on here is, um, if you're keeping the whip aerial on and you want to sort of loop it over and uh, and hold it in place, that, that cord there is what, uh, is what does it. That's its blackout lighting under there. So let's have a look in the wheel arches and stuff. It's showing, I think, 10,000 miles or just over 10,000 miles. No guarantee whether that's right or not, but it may well be. Interior wise, we've got a couple of marks on the driver's seat and the canvas, but no more than that. Um, Footwells. All good. There's a fuel tank under the driver's seat. The, uh, the hood and everything is all in really good shape. And as I say, we have got the full, uh, all the side screens and the dinky little opening doors. Um, show you under here. And around the back end. Again, looking down the offside of the tub, that all looks nice and straight and tidy. Seven hundred, seven hundred by sixteen tyres on it. And we'll come back to the inside on that side. I think it's got a matching set of 700 by 16s on it as well. I'll check that as I walk around. And here, that's 
all its uh, instruction labels and stuff. And brake down there, that's all the four wheel drive system. Yeah, showing, well, I would say 11,000 miles. She's rather good, I like it. Anyway, my name's Simon. Obviously, you can't, I'm sorry, I'll just go back to that. You can obviously fold everything flat. You can fold the, uh, the screen flat in the summer, uh, take everything off. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drone.com. Okay, a quick bit of start-up and idling on this uh, 1952 Jeep. Make sure we're neutral. Yep. Ignition on. And then... Oh, let's press the start button with the right with my... There we go. Idling nicely. All the gauges are working. The previous owner tells us occasionally the uh, fuel gauge is a bit temperamental, but it seems to be working at the moment. Oil pressure idle. Temperature just been for a run. Um, battery condition. Speedo works, so showing 10,800 miles. Now we'll show you a bit under the bonnet. There's this Hurricane engine, burbling away nicely, with his flathead engine. It's doing what it's supposed to do. A 70 year old engine, very healthy. See on the bonnet, you've got the uh, entrenching tool. There we have it.